Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you some tips and tricks on multiple monitor setup and functionality. Um, first and foremost, you get a second monitor, you want to hook it to your computer. You got to make sure that your computer is capable of running two monitors. A um, bunch of different ways you can do that. Check the documentation on your computer, look up the model, look up the manual, look up if it can handle two monitors. A simpler way is to just look at the back of your computer. This is the back of an older computer. You can see there's just one display port here. It's an old VGA, the blue connector, and there's not any more. So this computer, chances are it cannot handle two screens. Um, a lot of these older computers, the, uh, the bandwidth on the built-in display port was not capable of handling the uh, resolution on both monitors. So you can only run uh, one monitor on this computer. Most newer computers though, however, like this one, you can see it's got an HDMI port here and it's got a VGA port here, so it can handle two monitors. And so you're going to need two separate cables going to your computer, or going to your two separate monitors. In this, For this computer, you'd want one HDMI going to your computer or your other monitor and one HDMI going, or one VGA going from the computer to the other monitor. And, and two separate cables to, to each monitor. Once they're connected, um, then you go into Windows. But if you don't have these connections on your monitors, um, and this is what your computer looks like, you can get adapters. Um, sometimes, like for instance, HDMI, and you need another HDMI, a, a good cheap way is to get a, a, a USB to HDMI adapter. Um, follow the directions, get that set up. Um, there are converters that convert VGA to HDMI or DisplayPort. If you get a converter though, um, this connection is an older analog connection and you would need to make sure that your adapter is an active adapter um, because you're going to be converting analog to digital. But anyways, once you have both monitors hooked up, you have ports, um, then you're going to want to come into Windows anywhere in the middle of the screen, right click and go to Display Settings. You're going to want to make sure you see both of your monitors here. Um, if you drag your mouse off and it's not going to the monitor the way you'd like it to, you can click these and drag them around and then hit apply and that will change where they're set. You don't got to go unplug and replug and change your cords around to make it work. There's Windows has software for that. Another thing is if your monitors don't quite match, one slightly taller than the other one, you can offset them a little bit so as you drag across you don't hit the edge of the proposed edge or what the, the screens think that is the edge and you can set that up. Um, next thing is you come down here to multiple displays there's a drop down menu you're going to want to change that depending on what your setup is you may want to duplicate if you're going to a projector or if you're trying to send it to a big TV or something so that people can see or just leave it extend if you leave it extend and you want to send it over to another monitor you're going to need to drag the window that you're looking at over to the other monitor um, so that it can be seen that way. Or you can just simply say only show on one or only show on two. Uh, another tip is this identify button. You hit that, it shows a little icon here quickly on each monitor so that you can see which one. Um, also, once you know what your monitors are, and let's say you want to change what your main one is, where your icons are, where your, you know, your main monitor that you look at, you can also select it, come down here and say uh, make this my main display which let's see here one second um, scale layout landscape oh right there see the checkbox right under multiple displays make this because that one is not my main if I change that everything would jump over to there um, and that's about it hope you like this video uh, please remember to like and share and subscribe and uh, hope you have a beautiful day thanks everyone